Hi, and welcome to this week's show on the Rebel Networker. And today I'm here with uh, Doug Lip. Doug, welcome to Dubai. Thanks very much. My Appreciate pleasure. It. And uh, Doug's here with uh, Right Selection. Uh, Doug's uh, an author of one of his books, uh, which is this one here, Disney U. Um, and what I thought I'd give you the opportunity to do, Doug, is we have a very multicultural society right, here in right, Dubai. Right. And uh, my initial thought was, you know, Disney U, I mean, surely you're going to be dealing with big corporates with a view to HR and training. Right. Where a lot of our clients uh, tend to be smaller businesses. Yep. What would your message be for smaller businesses with a view to education and learning? Let me start off by saying that Disney U, yes, it represents a, a philosophy in a major corporation, but it's not about big. It's not about numbers of people. In fact, the founder of the Disney University was my mentor, and his mantra was this, budgets might be tight, but creativity is always free. So as a small business owner, you don't have an HR staff possibly, but there's no excuse for not training your staff. Training doesn't have to be in a classroom. It doesn't have to be hour after hour. It could be on-the-job training. It could be pre-shift huddles, post-shift huddles. But if you're an entrepreneur and you want to build your business, especially with the multicultural environment here in Dubai and getting ready for Expo 2020, you must engage your employees at every level and do not let the size of the staff become an excuse for saying, I don't have the time to do that because you're the owner. You should be leading the charge. So what would your message be? Because we actually see um, employees being put on training courses all the right, time. Right. And you did a great thing earlier on on stage where it's almost like, as the owner of the company, you know, it's like, I don't need this. <laughs> right, I've got, I've got right, people right, to do right, this. Right, right. So what would your message be to the bosses when you're set, when they are investing in their staff, but not necessarily being there themselves? Be there. Or don't waste the money on training. Because if you don't attend and if you don't walk the talk, then it's just empty. You are the face of the organization and you have to lead the charge. Do not spend your time, energy, and money on training or posters or memos unless you are willing to get out there and do it yourself. So number one, would you say that's from uh, just from leading it to get the staff to follow or from, would there be other benefits to doing that? you got to lead it and live it. lead it every single day. For example, in my seminar today, I showed a picture of Walt Disney picking up trash, picking up rubbish. Mm -hmm. He did that every day he walked in the park. He, as the leader of a major corporation, had time to walk the park. So if you're the leader of a smaller corporation, what's your excuse for not walking the park? Anybody can do it. That's fantastic. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank Thanks you for, for your time. Me. Indeed. Rebel Networker.